Good morning, Salem Stars. Miss O here with this week's activity. Now, I know, and you know, that one of your favorite things to do in the art room is to work with clay. Well, did you know that with some very simple ingredients, you can make your own Play-Doh that you can make 3D projects out of? Dry it, paint it, make some really, really cool stuff? Hmm. Well, I'm gonna teach you how to do that today. To make this salt dough, you're gonna need flour, salt, and some cold water, and a big bowl. You're gonna take two cups of flour, one cup of salt, And mix them all up with your hands. Make sure it's nice and even. Then you're gonna add one cup of cold water. And this is where it gets messy. You're gonna mix it on up until it makes a big dough ball. Once it's all incorporated, you can take it out of the bowl. and start working it with your hands until it gets to a nice dough consistency. Should be all nice and smooth. If it's too wet, add more flour. If it's too dry, add a little bit more water. There you have it. Now what can you do with this dough, you may ask? Well, here's two projects to get you started. Let's start with a texture turtle. First thing you do, you're gonna roll a ball Place another piece of wax paper over top and flatten it out with your hand. I like using wax paper because it keeps my hands from getting dirty. Peel up the wax paper and now we're ready to add some texture. Go ahead and grab a shoe, any old shoe will do, and press it, the bottom of it, into your flattened circle to make some texture. You can add a little bit to the sides too. This is going to be our turtle shell beautiful and textured. Next up, let's work on the body. Take a little bit of dough and you're gonna roll, 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 roll it into a clay snake, or as we like to call it, a coil and lay it out flat on your table. You're gonna make two more and make an X over top of your first coil. That's gonna be the body of your turtle and gonna go underneath your shell. Pat it all down so it's all connected. Now we're gonna let that hang out for a second we get started on our second project, making a robot with Legos. This one's gonna start pretty similarly to how your texture turtle started. Take a ball of dough and pat it down. Now if you notice that your dough is getting kind of sticky, it's probably because it's getting warm. Just stick it in the refrigerator for a little bit. You can also just use the wax paper technique to squish it down nice and even. Peel it on up, and now we have a canvas to get started on. Go ahead and take your Legos, and you're going to gently press them into the clay. And look, they make a little cool square indentation. I used a big square one for the body, but you can use whatever shape that you have. If you notice when you pull it up, it kind of pulls up with it, just use your fingers to tap it back down. I found a little circle one that I'm gonna use for a little diddly bopper on the head and some skinny ones for arms and legs. Get creative, see what you can come up with using the Legos that you have. Now, if you wanna keep your creations, you can bake them at 250 for two hours, or you can just ball it back up and put it in the fridge. I went ahead and baked mine because I wanted to decorate them. They should be nice and hard now. Time to decorate. For my turtle, I used acrylic paint because I knew that it would lock in the dough and keep it from molding long term. Um, I had to mix a lot of different paints together to try to get that, that brown and that kind of muddy green. Um, but I think it turned out pretty good.
For my robot, I got super lucky. I dug through all my art supplies and I found some kind of old metallic markers. Marker works pretty well on the on the dough, to be honest. I was actually kind of surprised. Um, I then painted over the whole thing with a black acrylic paint and then over the rest of it with a clear glue that I found. Coating your 3D art projects with a clear glue will help keep the paint from fading over time and will protect it from the elements, so I highly recommend it. Introducing to you Salem stars, Franklin the turtle. He's so cute. And also introducing Robo Franklin 3000. Miss it wasn't great at naming things. Maybe you can be more creative. Hope you guys had fun. Take care of yourself. Be kind to yourself. I love you very much. See you next week. Art star shout out time. Pew, 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 pew. Let's start off with something awesome from Tanner. Check out this self portrait. It looks just like you, dude. I love it so much. Next up, we have something celestial from Chelsea. I love the space. I love Saturn's rings and the pom poms. Very glittery. You know, I love glitter. Awesome. And finally, something really awesome from Landon. Check out this awesome SpongeBob. It is spot on and hilarious. Remember, if you have something to send me, send it to me at my email address, and you might be featured on next week's Art Star Shutouts. Bye, stars.